That's <laughs> nice. And the sand, the mm -hmm. sugar sand there in the Sandestin era. Hey, good Saturday morning and welcome to Weekend Recharge. I'm Paul Goodlow. I'm Molly McCollum. And I'm Lynette Charles. And America's weekend depends on the weather, especially when we're talking about a holiday weekend with threatening thunderstorms on the way, which could also ruin outdoor plans for millions of people. Yeah, a lot of folks trying to get out mm -hmm. and to enjoy the warming weather, but that also is fueling some storms. Here's a snapshot here of what's to come here. Thunder. Yeah, let's talk about that forecast because we can see it here and we are going to be dealing with those thunderstorms. Now the race starts at 1245 at 10 o'clock. People getting there trying to get their lives together, right? Well, it's going to be cloudy, not going to be dealing with some thunderstorm activity quite yet. But as we go in through the late morning into the afternoon, that's when things are really going to start to get rocking and rolling by two o'clock. That's when those thunderstorms will really roll in here and some of those will be on the strong to severe side. So definitely have to uh, stay weather aware for your tomorrow. Again, a lot of you are going to be coming in from out of town. So know where you are. Know those counties when the National Weather Service issues those uh, tornado warnings, uh, the severe thunderstorm warnings. Yes, they go by counties. Let's time this out for you as we look at this at two o'clock. So there's Indianapolis and we can see the worst of it is still back off towards the west. But again, this is a model. It could be right around two that that worst of it is already on top of you. So we're talking about damaging gusty wind, heavy rain with this as well, and also some very large hail coming in. Now, if you think that it's just going to be that one round, you're mistaken. Unfortunately, I wish I could say it was that one round, but we could see another round as we go into the evening time frame as well, and then it looks a little bit drier as we go into early in the morning tomorrow. So this is what we're going to be working with, or I should say on your on your Monday, but this is what we're going to continue to work with as we go through your Sunday in St. Louis. Here we go. Look at the white there. So that's some very large hail. That's a signature that's pick, that's popping up on this model here. This will continue to move through very early in the morning in St. Louis, and you're not done. So you're going to have several rounds across this area as well. So you have one in the morning. You have another line that comes in around six o'clock in the evening, and then finally it looks like you're done as we go into your Monday morning. All in all, this is going to be the name of the game as we go through many cities as we head into your Sunday. We can see back off towards Nashville five o'clock. You're still OK, but then it starts to move in and Molly not looking good at all as we go into the evening hours. It's tough to have chase from Ocean Positive. Uh, thank you, Bruckner, so much for being here. We I, I always love seeing you always have good advice. <laughs> So <laughs> let's talk about this weekend and a lot of people are going to ditch the pool and head to the beach. So what are the differences between swimming in a pool versus at the beach? It's really significantly harder in Behind you right now in Ocean City and it looks like a gorgeous yeah. morning, but we know that weather conditions can change very suddenly mm -hmm. and the water will start to get a little bit rougher. What are you? What is your advice for not only keeping so Bruckner, you talk about situational awareness. It, you, some of the stuff that you just said, is that a part of it? If not, can you explain what it actually means? Absolutely. So if you drove to the beach or rode your bike, you're constantly looking for changing. Now, what is your advice if we are at the beach and you see someone that's struggling and there's there's no lifeguards around? That's a really important question. It's what we call second victim drownings, where someone goes in to help someone else and you- right, Bruckner Chase from Ocean Positive. Always good tips. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, we know that a lot of people are going to be heading to the yes. beach. They maybe are already there exactly. this morning. We've been seeing lots of people on the cameras. So, Paul, what do people need to be aware of at the beach? I know there's rip currents that are strong along some of our beaches this weekend. Yeah, we have to. All right. Yes, we do have some rip currents out there. We do that rip current risk. And as we look back over towards uh, Corpus Christi, down towards Brownsville, yeah, we're looking at that risk on the high side of things. Back over towards Apalachicola, moderate. But even where we're seeing around Tampa and Naples, where we do have that low risk, there's still not a no risk, so you definitely have to be careful as you are out and about. You're swimming, you're having fun in the water. Again, be careful about that. Now, you always want to swim where there's a safe, where there's a lifeguard, but if there's no lifeguards, and even if there is a lifeguard, just know those flags. They can really help you, especially if you're looking at um, a single red flag that's going to be dangerous, and the double red flags mean do not swim. And then when we're talking about that purple flag, that means that uh, you could have something in the water, possibly like a shark or a marine life. This is what we have for today in terms of the high temperatures. So yeah, it's going to be hot. We're looking at these numbers coming in the 90s in a lot of spots. But remember, we're also going to factor in that humidity. So it's going to feel more like the triple digits out there. So you definitely need to. Uh, I know you think that the water is keeping you cool and it is, but you need to take a break from the water and get into that shade from time to time. We do have that heat risk. Look at Corpus Christi down towards Brownsville. Once again, we're looking at that heat risk on the extreme side of things for today. The heat indices, it is going to be in the triple digits as we go through the rest 
rest of today in South Padre Island, Texas. So that extreme caution is going to be out there. Uh, the triple digits up to about 104 before it's all said and done as we are definitely going to feel that way. And then the UV index. Yes, off the charts here. Very extreme. We can see that in Houston. Also back off towards Corpus Christi and New Orleans. You're in on this as well. Slather on that sunscreen. Now swimming near a lifeguard. In some places we'll see two rounds on Sunday mm -hmm. like St. Louis in the morning hours and then again in the evening hours. So you're not done after round one. Exactly. So we're going to see those thunderstorms and those thunderstorms are going to be strong and severe in some spots. We have Absolutely. all modes of severe weather on the table. Which is tough for holiday weekend. Mm -hmm. You're trying to go see family. A lot of people are going to be driving yes. for Memorial Day weekend. And if you're hitting the road, it's complicated in St. Louis and the surrounding areas with the multiple rounds. When's the good time? Exactly. You're trying to fit it in in these small windows that we don't have rain. Exactly. And so this is what it looks like. All those ingredients are there as we go in through your tomorrow morning. So you're thinking might be just an afternoon type thing. No, this is going to linger into your tomorrow morning. We have plenty of moisture. We're going to be right in that warm sector and that is going to be the fuel that we're going to be seeing the changing mm -hmm. of the winds with height and we do have the potential for some tornadoes to really spin up. We do, but also the straight line damaging wind threat. We mm -hmm. could see some large hail too. And on top of that, that we're going to see multiple rounds of very heavy rain. So flooding is going to be another thing to think about on top of everything. We know that it's plenty warm outside. In fact, in St. Louis, it's already 65 as we're starting off this morning. Uh, we're going to see the instability build as we go throughout the day. And of course, we've got the stronger winds aloft that lean into the damaging wind threat. Exactly. So it's going to be likely where you're seeing that darker blue. So St. Louis, you're in on this as well as we go in through your tomorrow. Lexington, there's that Torcon of twos and threes across the area. Yes, you'll hear people say that's on the lower side. It is on the lower side, but there still is a threat. If there's a number, Molly, there is a risk. All it takes is one storm. It's not just St. Louis. It goes all the way down to Nashville and parts of the Mid-South into the Deep South. What does a Torcon of three mean? Isolated tornadoes are possible, and you could have a watch. Be ready to take action, you get a warning. And unfortunately, we're going to see more severe weather in the forecast as we continue right through your tonight. So let's check out Oklahoma City, where we do have a Torcon of seven. You can see that on a scale of one to ten. We're also going to be watching for those damaging winds. Those are going to be possible. And large hail is going to be likely as we work our way in through Oklahoma City and through tonight. So that's going to be the scenario. You definitely need to know where you're going to go if you get a tornado and if it's going to be likely that you will see tornadoes. So dangerous severe weather is expected. Numerous tornadoes are likely. Watches and warnings are expected when we talk about having a Torcon of seven. And we need to monitor those forecasts very closely. You have to know uh, when you're going to take cover and you have to be able to get those warnings. So remember, uh, NOAA Weather Radio, that's a great way. And also you can get those alerts on your phone. Let's go ahead and time this out for you. So as we continue through the rest of your today around Oklahoma City, we can see things brewing down off towards the south. So yeah. Some a nasty cell here looking its way to work its way on off to the north as we go towards about seven o'clock. Uh, you can see some of the white once again. When you see that, yeah, you can bet you're going to be dealing with some hail coming in across the area as well. But hail, damaging gusty wind. We're going to be talking about uh, lots of rain with these thunderstorms as well. So we have to watch out for some flash flooding out there as well. This is what it looks like for Wich Wichita, Kansas. So that Torcon of seven once again. The damaging winds will be likely, and large hail will be very likely. So let's talk about it. So when you have that updraft speed the higher the speed that means that there's going to be a uh, larger hail involved in it so when we're talking about that uh, 50 mile an hour wind speed then we're looking at uh, a quarter size hail and just down the line it just goes up from there and those updrafts can get very very potent let's time this out as we go into Wichita as we go into 11 o'clock this evening we can see 135 just to the north of Wichita here but again we will be dealing with rounds of showers and thunderstorms really rolling through the area as we go in through uh, your tonight Night and into your tomorrow as well. Paul. Well, let's talk about more. You can recharge and fill the pools, pack the coolers, and fire up the grill as Memorial Day is the unofficial kickoff to the summer season. Backyard barbecues could result in air pollution due to burning charcoal. Here are a few tips you can use to make your cookout more eco friendly. Paul, your weekend depends on the weather and we've got you covered even if you're not at home. From air at the severe weather that's happening across the nation right now, we can see down off towards the south here uh, in Georgia, plenty of severe thunderstorm warnings that we're going to work with and we're going to see probably more of these as we go through the rest of today, possibly maybe even some tornado warnings before it's all said and done. Severe thunderstorm warning though now for the counties of Columbia, Lincoln and also McCormick. This goes until 145 and this is a radar indicated uh, a severe thunderstorm warning at this point. 
point. We're talking about damaging gusty wind and also some hail with these thunderstorms. Next thunderstorm warning, severe thunderstorm warning is for Lamar, Monroe and Upson. And this is radar indicated. This goes until about 115 as well. Lots of rain with these thunderstorms being put down. So just uh, uh, be aware of that. And also just know that when we have severe thunderstorm warnings, yes, we're talking about the damaging wind and hail, but also severe thunderstorm warning can drop a tornado fairly quickly as well. So just keep that in mind. Let's hood all the way on off towards the north and east now where we're looking at the cities of French Creek, Otter Creek and Sandy Creek. This goes until one o'clock. Again, this is going to work its way on off towards the north and east. So uh, for tonight, we still do have the potential for some strong, severe thunderstorms. It's very likely back off towards the plains that we will be getting in on this. So have a way to get those warnings. We're looking at Torcons of sevens. We have fives. We have threes out there. So we do have tornadoes that will be a threat. We also do have a hail threat for these areas and damaging wind threat as well. So the straight line winds are going to pose a problem too. Right now we're on the drier side. We're seeing some sunshine. That's not necessarily the best bet because all that's going to do is aid in that instability. We're going to continue to watch the air mass really recover because we have these dew points that are going to continue to go up. We're also watching plenty of energy that's going to be put out into the atmosphere as well. So with all that said, yes, we will see those tornadoes as we go through the rest of today and also as we go into the evening. Make sure you keep it tuned to the Weather Channel. We'll have coverage all night long.